If you don't prioritize your life, someone else will. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we talk about how to prioritize your life. Enjoy. When we've got so much that it feels like it's pulling on our attention, things feel urgent and important and there's just so much stuff and so many balls in the air that we feel like we just have to have them done like yesterday and there's not enough time how do we make sure that we we do the stuff that is actually really important and keep ourselves sane and not only just sane like really being able to show up in our fullest capacity which requires may I add not being bloody burnt out This is a conversation where we're going to discuss exactly that and I want to talk about my key strategy of discs to actually be able to do that so that you're really making sure you're you're laser clear about the stuff that is important and you are prioritizing that and saying a clear no to anything else. So I want you to imagine a glass vase and you've got a pile of rocks, you've got some stones, you've got pebbles and you've got sand. So if we wanted to put all of that inside the vase, how would we start? Well, if we start by putting the sand in and we fill up the vase with sand, guess what? There's no room to put the rocks in. What if we did it a different way? What if we started with an empty vase and put the rocks in first? Then we could actually put the stones in and the stones would find their spaces. Then we could put in the pebbles and they would find their spaces and then lastly we could pour the sand on the top and it would fall down and find its way into the gaps. This is exactly how it is for our lives and the things that are the most important to us. I want you to imagine that those rocks are the most important things to you on the planet. The things that when you're at the end of your life looking back, if you prioritize those things now, you'll be deeply freaking satisfied that you did. But On the flip side, if you don't prioritize them now, there will be the sense of regret and shit, I missed out. What usually happens in our life is we are knee-jerking to all of the urgencies in our life. It feels sometimes like we are on the end of a puppet string of other people's agendas and whenever they they, they they pull the puppet string we're like this kind of like marionette puppet and we're moving around to other people's demands and agendas and we're feeling like really pulled in all sorts of directions and we're feeling so freaking stretched now here's the thing we have to be willing to step back from everything in our lives and actually like go bigger picture and start with a clean vase I would class other people's agendas and other people's urgencies as the sand and you never want to leave with putting that in your life first because there's just no space left for your rocks, your important things. So number one is you've got to get clear, ultra clear on what your rocks are and then you put them into your life first and don't worry the stones will find their place, the pebbles will find their place and the sand if you do let it in will find its place around that but you lead with your rocks so me personally my rocks I'm ultra freaking clear on what they are four things one myself my relationship to myself how I'm feeling in the world how I show up in the world how nurtured and fulfilled I'm feeling number two is my relationship my marriage with Kenani the quality of our relationship number three is how my kids experience themselves in the world. Now, so many people, I'm just gonna like time out here, will go, what, you've put your kids number three? Yeah, there's a reason. See, because I so give a shit about my kids, because I care about them so much, and I love them so much, they need a mum operating at her highest capacity, and they need our marriage to be operating at its fullest capacity. So because of my commitment to them, I'm ultra committed to these first two. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on the platform you're listening on. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. 
Thanks for listening.